Liam, <laughs> difficult to know what to say. That one swung both ways, really, doesn't it? But you're making a habit of these late goals. Yes, well, to be honest, if somebody had have offered you four points from the, the last two games over the Easter period, you know, you'd know you have snatched your hand off. The game weren't a great spectacle again because of the, the conditions, you know, with the wind and, and everything else. But uh, the, the positive that we can take out of it is that we kept going until the end, you know, regardless of, uh, of how we found ourselves in the game. You know, I think it was our doing why we give them the lift, uh, which you know, can be a positive thing because they haven't really hurt us for, from open play. Um, but, like I said, the positive thing we will take is that we kept going to the end and that could be a massive point for us. A terrific spectacle for the neutral, for the supporters of both teams that have come. Was it hard to watch at times for you in the dugout? Yeah, it's a little bit. You know, um, I think we thoroughly, thoroughly deserved the, the point. I thought we worked hard enough to get, to get the goals. Um, and, you know, even, even three, three goals for either, either team and there's still a lot of talking points, um, which is good for the neutral, obviously. But... Um, like I said, to get to get four points out of the Easter period for us, it's it's massive. You sort of lead early on in in the game. Will Hatfield with the shot and, and the assistant flagging that it had crossed the line. You looked well on top from the, that moment on. Yes, yes, and you know, sadly it was it was a mistake of ours what got them back into the game. Um, and this the, the second half, uh, you know, we, we kept huffing and puffing, couldn't really get any fluency to to our game. You know, regarding the conditions, so so we had to play. You know, play the pitch and play the conditions. Uh, I thought we did that well. You know, like I said just previously, you know, the, the big positive thing is that we all stuck together. You know, I've just said in there, you know, we, we need everybody. You know, I certainly can't do it on my own. You know, one, one individual in there can't do it on their own. On their own. We're going to need everybody all the way to the end. Um, and you know, we, we definitely need a, a, you know another win, uh, or, or, or so. Um, you know, to, to get where we want to be because you know teams around us are doing the same so we need to regroup and we need to you know keep keep fighting uh, for each other and you know we'll get over the line earlier in the season would you have lost today um uh, it depends where you think we started the season like like an house on fire you know and you know we, we managed to you know go through a period with injuries and, and so forth so it is difficult to answer that question but I, I understand why why you ask it and I think it does show we have got a good character and we've got a good team spirit and we've you know we do pull together quite well you know as you've seen uh, at the weekend and previously ga previous games and especially today and a huge boost for you that three forward players have scored in the same game Yes, definitely. You know, as soon as we we went behind, um, you know, the the only thing we, we may as well, you know, have a right good go at it, which we did. You know, which we gambled with, and we we got the forwards on the pitch to try and get you the goal. And uh, you know, you don't really want it to fall to to anybody else rather than your forwards with with something like that. Uh, we got a goal disallowed as well, which you know we'll have to look at. But um, in the end, with the goals and and everything else, it's probably a, a fair result. And when it went into stoppage time and you were behind and Lee Molyneux had one turned onto the bar, did you think it might not be our day today? Yeah, you start thinking so. But when you've got goals in the team, which we have, you know, you always believe. And I've, I've been trying to put that through to the group of the players. You know, we've got goals and we've got real, you know, we've got good individuals as well, and we've got ability throughout the team. So we need to just keep plugging away, as you've seen, you know, previous. And you know, if you get that in your makeup and you get that in your mentality, you, you know, you'll go a long way. The game's not over until it's over. And there's probably nobody better in the league, is there? Ball loose in the penalty area. James Beattie's gobbled it up. <laughs> Again, you know, like I said, you don't want it to fall to anybody else, you know, other than one of your forwards. And, and James is there, you know, he makes a joke of it. You get at least eight and nine a season from there. And, uh, you know, when they're, they're the hardest sometimes, but you need to be in them areas to score. And uh, luckily, uh, we had somebody in that area to, to, get us the, uh, to get us the goal. Sad news before the game news that Jack Barrett, one of the founding fathers yeah. of the club, has, has passed away. I think Jack would have been really proud of you come back today. Yes, I mean, hopefully he was the one who was blowing the ball in the net uh, at the end there. You know, with full respect and, um, you know, thoughts go out to his family and, and friends. Uh, it was nice to see the, the minute applause before the game and everybody chanting his name round, round the ground, especially at the end, uh, at the end there, the final whistle. I thought it was, uh, thought it was fantastic. Thank you. Kind of sound like that would be uh, nervous.